So here's Santa Claus dropping off my present in the middle of March. Good morning, everybody. It's a bit chilly out here, but really nice day. So the big package finally came in. I also had some more sea deck come in. I laid it out to flatten it out right here in the driveway. So we can put it on the boat. Okay, so my dad's here, and we're just gonna start opening it up. We're gonna be finishing up everything on the boat today, but the number one most asked question is, what size engine did you get? So, here you go. Now, I know 20 is a little bit over the uh, recommended. Felt like 15 just wasn't quite enough. I'll give more of an explanation on the engine size later in the video, but right now we have to finish mounting the engine, laying sea deck, and start the engine up before the rain comes. Yeah, those are some, those are some good drill bits right there because it's like that, it's just cutting right through, no problem. Both weather and time ended up not cooperating with us as well as we wanted it to. We ended up cutting out, measuring, and laying down the sea deck I wanted to lay. My dad then took the two hour drive back down south, and now I'll wait till tomorrow and see what the forecast looks like. Unfortunately, a lot of Florida was put under a flood watch this weekend, but we're still going to get the boat wet, so let's see how this engine runs. But of course, now that the boat build is complete, we have a very rainy weekend. It's gonna be raining for the next two days, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, it's supposed to clear up a little bit. So hopefully I'll make it on the water on Sunday. So the boat's about to get wet for the first time, but it's only gonna make it over here to my driveway because I'm gonna hook it up, take it over here, put the, Put these new muffs on that I just bought. I like how it's a dual muff because most muffs only come out of one side. Um, and then I'm gonna do a 15 minute idle because that's actually the first step of the break-in period. So before I get this engine started, let me just explain a few things. So this is the 20 horsepower Suzuki outboard in white. I paid an extra $200 just to get it in white, but uh, definitely think it's worth it. I think it looks really good. It's Polestar completely manual. A big reason why I did that is because I wanted the lightest engine I can find. And Suzuki, really, they make the lightest outboards, especially small outboards. So this 20 horsepower right here is 97 pounds compared to like fully manual Mercury's and other other boat engines, Hondas and stuff, you know, it, it's a few pounds lighter. Um, and I wanted to make it as light as possible because the boat is not big. It's a pretty small boat. And I got the jack plate on here, which adds more weight to the transom. But so far, this transom has been solid. Now, the 9.9, .9, the 15 horsepower, and the 20 horsepower in Suzuki are all the same exact block. 
They all weigh 97 pounds. They all are the exact same size. So there's no point of getting a 9.9 .9 or a 15 unless you have, you know, budgetary restrictions or restrictions in horsepower for whatever body of water you're going to. I laid out the sea deck. It looks really good. Here it is. Here's a brand new engine. Pretty simple. One, uh, one liter of oil, as you can see. Filled it up. And the lower unit already comes with gear oil from the factory, so we don't even have to change that until the 100 hour service. So all I need to do is pull it and uh, start it up so we can get done with that uh, 15 minute idle break in. So I bought this transom saver from Walmart. Um, it was really cheap, only about $35. I definitely recommend putting a transom saver on any boat. So we got the muffs going. Gonna flood the driveway a little bit, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get this thing started. I'm just gonna give this thing a pull and get it started. Back to neutral. Reverse. As soon as you get a nice day, take this thing out in the water right away. 